Hi, happy Monday. So I did my shop update last week and it was a really cute Valentine's Day themed collection. And I'm wearing pink today because I thought I could mimic one of my roller angels who roller skates and delivers uh, letters to you all. So after I package your orders for this collection, I'll be roller skating off to the post and dropping off all of these envelopes. So overall, I decided to do my shop update a little bit early. That way I have time to send these out. And if any of you were to send these off to another friend, they would receive them hopefully in time for Valentine's Day. So I'm super excited to package these orders and do a little bit of exercise today. Fortunately, it is a little bit cloudy. So if the lighting shifts around, I apologize again, but let's begin packaging. if I just laid out all of my orders and my stickers and did them together for the Valentine's Day collection but I also thought it would be really cute if I included some of my little skate hearts as little freebie stickers to thank everyone for purchasing something from my Valentine's Day shop update so I'll just be including one of these with every order two really cute washi tapes that I think I'll be using to package some of these orders. I was thinking of putting this one on the envelopes for all the Valentine's Day orders. And then I want to use this one for the Roller Angels uh, glassine bag because I think it's really cute and it has a really nice design on it that looks very angelic to me. So I just finished packaging my Valentine's Day roller skate sticker orders and I'm going to be lacing up my skates and dropping these off. So join me outside for a bit. Wednesday. Today is January 27th 
and yesterday I went out and I roller skated. I wanted to take a little break from my shop update, spend some time outdoors, and it was really nice. I also ended up getting a really huge order yesterday from my Valentine's Day collection and it made my products, a few of my products sold out and in limited quantities and I don't have, <laughs> I didn't prepare uh, as many things as that order that I got because I didn't anticipate getting a really huge order so I have a lot of things to make today. I also have additional orders of other things outside of my Valentine's Day collection that I need to make so I'll be doing that today as well. In other news, I made it to 300 subscribers. I'm probably a little bit past that right now, but I wanted to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my YouTube channel and coming on this journey with me and watching me grow as an independent artist. I love every comment that I get and I love sharing my tips from my side of the end to yours. So thank you so much for watching and staying tuned and seeing what becomes of Tati Animation. And I've been rambling long enough, so let's get started with the day. something else that I forgot to share during this beginning part of today's vlog and it is that Moxie Roller Skates has reached out to me and they purchased my Justice sticker and my Justice print off of my Etsy. They're going to be raffling off the two items next month because they're highlighting different black creators for Black History Month. It makes me so happy that they're going out of their way to do this to highlight a lot of different black creators who make earrings and jewelry and apparel and other merchandise but overall moxie roller skates is such an important brand to me because roller skating has not only infused into my art but infused into my life as a whole and it's just become a very important part of my lifestyle and what i like to do and how i stay active so i cannot wait to package this order and i'm super excited for whoever wins it in the raffle so I might add a little bit of extra goodies to show my thanks to Moxie Roller Skates as a whole. But overall, I'm just really excited to be a part of this. And it just makes me really, 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 really happy. So let's get packaging. So I wrote down everything that I need for this large order and I don't even have a third of it actually made so I'm gonna be working really hard for the rest of the day trying to put everything together it's 44 items total and I'm just so grateful and I'm so happy and I'm gonna put as much love and care as I can into packaging this order so thank you again Christina uh, let's get to work all right, so I just finished printing out all the orders that I need to cut, and it's quite a few things. You've already seen me go through most of these Valentine's Day stickers, so I'm probably not gonna refilm all of that, but what I did forget to film was my Skate Heart sticker pack. So I think I'm going to be filming that for you guys because I think they turned out really cute, and I'd like to show you the process that went into that. So let's keep pushing and finish this sticker order.
All right, so I just finished packaging all of the sticker packs for the orders. So it was 10 of the skate hearts, and then we have 10 skate potions. We have 10 of the love it for skate, and then we have four of the clear skate potions. And all I have to do now is make 10 prints of my pink messenger roller angel, and this order will be done. Ah! So I just finished packaging all of my orders for today and I'm going to be sending them off to the post office tomorrow and I'm so tired but in the best possible way ever. Thank you again so much to everybody that supports my Etsy shop and supports my artwork or my YouTube whether it's just a comment, a like. I appreciate everything and I cannot believe that I get to create artwork and share that with everybody. So this is the end of my vlog for today and I'll be seeing you all later. Bye! Hi! Happy Wednesday! So I have been waiting for this package for a while. It is a sketchbook. I'm just letting you know right now. It's a sketchbook. And I decided that I wanted to start sketching more. I actually don't have an official sketchbook. And that's something that I want to fix. Anytime I do art, it's mostly on my iPad and it's with the intent of creating a final piece. So I'm never drawing just to flesh out ideas. I'm always drawing to have something that is a finished piece of artwork. And on one hand, that's nice because I'm kind of setting myself up to finish a piece of art. I have a goal in mind, I draw the drawing, it's finished, I love it, the end. But that inhibits me creatively because I'm not drawing as often as I would like to because I only want to create finished art. So I'm really excited to have this sketchbook and when it is complete or even halfway through i will be doing a sketchbook tour so let's open it up i'll show you which one i got so i got the elo brand sketchbook it's the size eight by eight inches because big sketchbooks terrify me i used to get the really big what size was it nine by twelve mixed media canton sketchbook and i realized that i wasn't filling it up and the pages were too big and I downsized incredibly to the 7x10. But I think 8x8 is a nice size. I really like square formats. I feel like artwork just looks really nice in something that's square. So I'm really excited to own this. I can't wait to start sketching in it and I might start sketching today. Who knows? And I'm going to keep the bubble wrap for packaging purposes. We love to reuse bubble wrap. The biggest thing that I have planned today is that I want to make stamps. I want to make stamps for my packaging because I think they look really cute. I have <laughs> I have something in mind. So I usually greet my videos with, hi, happy, insert day here. And I thought it would be really cute if I made a hi, happy mail day stamp that I could put on my envelopes. And then I also want to make a do not bend stamp because I don't have time to write them on everything and I forget to write them on everything and I don't want anybody's sticker orders to get bent in the mail so I'm thinking of those two designs and I feel like they'll be really neat so I'm planning on using no issue to make these stamps and I need to decide if I want the self inking one for efficiency or the regular one with the ink pad just because it's more aesthetically pleasing I might go for efficiency but I need to figure out the sizing that I want because they offer a few different sizes for stamps. So I think I'll be doing that today. 
All right, I finished the sketch page and my apologies for not filming. I don't know why, but I had a very difficult time getting back into using a sketchbook. It took me all day just to do three sketches and it's going to be rough, but I'm really excited to get back into it. So this is the design that I have for the stamp. It's a girl that says happy mail day at the top with two little leaf designs on the side and an envelope at the bottom. It's not going to be in color, I just wanted to color it because I really like orange and green and I really like the colors of my little freebie fruit orange girl. So I decided to color it with that. I'm going to be transferring this sketch over to Procreate so I can turn it into a black and white file and I can send it off to no issue for them to turn into a stamp. So here's the finished stamp design. All I need to do now is put it into the No Issue website so I could turn it into a stamp. And I should probably get it in about three weeks. All right, I also made this please don't bend sign and I wanted to include a roller skate since I do a lot of roller skate artwork. And I think it looks really cool. So this will probably also be a self inking stamp. That way it's easier for me to just put them on all the envelopes and it could speed up my process. So here's what my stamp looks like on the No Issue website. It'll be 1.97 by 1.97, which is about, I think, 50 millimeters uh, across and up and down. So I'm going to be adding it to my cart and hopefully it looks really good. All right, so I just finished designing my new stamps and they kind of take a while to manufacture, so I probably won't see them until around late February or early March but I'm really excited to get them because I've been wanting to spice up my sticker order packaging for a while and I feel like this would be really nice. So this is the end of this week's vlog and thank you all so much for watching and thank you for subscribing and commenting and I'll be seeing you all next week and hopefully I'll be getting started on some screen printing. So I will see you all later. Bye!